season, Pursuit Within Reach. This episode of the season, Pursuit Within Reach, is brought to you by Outlaw Rod Company. Walla Fly Reels True Fly Supply Fly Life Lifestyle Apparel And Twig and Timber Outdoors What's going on guys? Really fun episode for you today. Uh, something everybody across the country can do. We're actually gonna be taking a look at hopping ponds and river systems to try and find both largemouth and smallmouth bass. So we're out here today. We're trying to get into some bass. We wanted to take a look at bass fishing with the fly specifically because it's a species that not a lot of people uh, would think as beginner fly fishermen uh, to go for with flies. I know when I got into fly fishing, I was really focused on trout, and it's been really fun to get into all kinds of different panfish and perch and, uh, and bass as well. So that's kind of our focus when we're out here this weekend. Typically in the United States or in North America, the majority of people have access to bass. You know, black bass specifically are a phenomenal fish on the fly, and luckily I'm joined today with a really good friend and fun and competent angler, Jeremy. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a blast because taking him back to his roots, he started as a bass angler, uh, started picking up the fly very quickly, and I'm really hoping that after a few fish today, we have another convert into both chasing trout in the cold water, but then you know, when the weather gets warm, getting into some warm water species and finding out how honestly, how incredibly addictive and fun they can be uh, chasing streamers and especially top water poppers and mice. Bass fishing for me is probably where I started fishing uh, the most. I, I did some trout fishing when I was young, but uh, as a teenager, I fished small ponds for bass with my brother. We would throw a, a 12 or 14 foot uh, aluminum robo into the back of his pickup and we fished all the ponds we could find. So the small water is, is really familiar to me. Uh, mostly I fished soft plastic lures when I was young and we had a lot of success with that and we would you know, work the weed beds, and it was a real blast, mostly largemouth. Uh, so fishing the small ponds with a fly is a little bit different, but uh, it's, it's challenging and it's exciting. The weather conditions were kind of a curveball today. We were able to get out and do some fun things. Um, the cold weather front, if you can hear, the wind is pretty nasty. It's gonna rain, but that shouldn't stop you because some of my biggest bass I've ever caught we're caught in some really nasty bad weather conditions, so I'm hoping that uh, we can get out, toss a few streamers, get some big bucket mouths and some great small jaws to uh, take a bite and uh, show you how pretty some of these fish can be. Colorations, uh, profiles, you name it. I love bass as much as I love trout. So at our first spot, we decided to go to a little farm pond uh, that my buddy has, and um, we uh, knew that you know there were going to be just a few fish, but we got there nice and early. It was a really, really warm day. Rain didn't look like it was going to come in that quickly, but I figured we'd give it a shot, try first two spots in the morning, and uh, see what happens. We got into a few fish and it just seemed like uh, 
whether we threw big poppers, small poppers, deer hair, foam, mice. All we were getting were the small little guys and the big boys weren't coming out to play, so we switched it up and threw a few streamers. Our second location was a downtown urban stream where I knew some smallmouth were. We had fished it the night before filming and caught a really pretty smallmouth, but with the warm weather the way it was and the sun as high as it was being somewhat almost mid-morning, late morning, our hopes weren't super high, so, but we figured we'd give it a shot and fish it before our afternoon trip out to where we were hoping to get it into a few more fish. colors off on the river and it's really getting hot out so I think we might have to change our strategy a little bit maybe move switch it up to a new spot The third spot was actually a public park that uh, houses some fun fishing, so just goes to show you don't have to go driving for an hour or so to get to some place to find fish. Sometimes there's fun places to fish right in your backyard. Thank you. 
So there you have it, a uh, really fun day, tough bite, but quite honestly, my goal was actually not to catch the biggest fish of the day, but my goal was to get Jeremy out and to showcase how fun bass can be, ponds and streams, and uh, how unique and varied they can be, especially when weather conditions are changing. Um, showing him different techniques and to get him out and to enjoy the water systems in his backyard. You don't have to drive an hour and a half to get to a uh, trout stream. You can head out into your back local farm pond and catch some bluegill and some bass and enjoy being out in the water and uh, what's out in front of you and in, in your backyard. So I learned a lot about bass fishing with the fly specifically and I think bass will become more of a staple in uh, what I want to do with the fly rod and uh, with fly tying. There's a lot of great patterns that I can't wait to um, try out when I get back to my vise and it, as I said I learned a lot about some new materials and, and how to design some cool new flies so yeah I'm taking home a lot of knowledge after this trip. Special thanks to This has been a Timberwood Studios production.